So that's, in this activity, we will be looking at directly proportional relationships, and it is activity three from the first unit, number sense, and algebra. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what is proportional? Well, proportional comes from the idea that there is a proportion, and a proportion is an equation with a ratio on each side. So it is a statement that the two ratios are equal. So for example, 3 over 2 is equal to 30 over 20. That's a proportion. And the way to check to see if you do have a proportion is by cross multiplying the two ratios and to see if you get the same answer. So in this case, 3 times 20 equals 60 and 2 times 30 equals 60. So we know that it is a proportional relationship between the two ratios. So now if we use this to determine if the proportional relationship exists, we can ask ourselves if we have 2 to 7 and 12 to 17, would this create a proportional relationship? So we're going to check. 2 times 17 equals 34. 7 times 12 equals 84. 34 is not the same as 84, so 2 over 7 does not equal 12 over 17. And of course, you could write them as a fraction first before you did the cross multiplying to make it a little bit easier to see that yes, we take 2 and multiply it by 17, and we take the 12 and we multiply it by the 7. So this is not a proportional relationship. So there are many ways to recognize what a proportional relationship is. One is called sizing things up, or that's where you just look closely at something. So if we look at this picture and we figure out, well, what's going on here? There's something odd about this picture because the bats are not in proportion with the sizes of the batter. This bat is much too small compared to the size of the batter and this bat is much too large compared to the size of the batter. So this is not a proportional relationship. So visually, we are capable of recognizing proportional relationships between the size of two objects. And we can relate what we see to what we expect to see based on our experiences or what we've seen before. We kind of have some idea of the size of a bat proportional to a person. So when we see a bat that is either too small or too big, we recognize it even without measurements and doing the math behind it. 